Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World of Wayne. Today, we're going to do the next four stages of the fan home release, a build kit from Knight Rider. So we're going to be doing stages 79 to 82, and what that means is we're going to be actually, even though I've got the car up here, we're going to be taking off the bodywork, and I'm going to be putting the mechanism in to make the headlights go up and down. Once I've done that, I'm going to be taking the scanner section of the car, adding the headlight reflectors to this side here, and then putting the electrics in for that as well. So as you can see, it's going to be a fiddly issue. So I will try and get as many camera angles as possible, because uh, I know people are going to struggle with this one. Uh, if you want to get this for yourself, I have put a link down here to the Fan Home website, and you can get this all the way from Pack One. No idea how this is going to turn out today. I've got that nervous anticipation that things are going to go wrong, but you know me. We'll fight for it. This is the World of Wayne channel. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So a lot of today's build is going to involve putting the bodywork upside down. So right from the start, I am going to be getting my partwork upgrades mat here with my Spruverse Challenge logo on it, all ready to go for this build. And I've laid out all the parts that we get in this stage. So first thing we want to do is we want to take this metal rod here and we have got this cog with a little flap at the top which is going to go down the shaft of this rod. Now it can only go so far because this is thicker than this side here. Now the first thing I'm going to suggest to you is get yourself some oil and just put some oil just on this section here. The reason I'm saying that is because you want this cog to be completely and utterly pushed up against that ledge. The oil is going to help it go up. You can see there's a screw hole in there, which we're going to be putting an AM screw. The reason we're putting an AM screw in there is to stop any slippage from this disc so it doesn't come back up here. So I've got an AM screw here, and I'm just going to screw that in. All its job is to do is to stop this moving backwards. Whereas we've got this mounting point already in place on this one, I need to put one on the other side here. So that has got a D-shaped hole. It's metal. It's going to go in just like this. And again, it might need a bit of oil. No, we're okay, actually. We've managed to get that in fine. When you put it in, you want to make sure that the hole on this side is going over the hole that you can see in the rod there. Once again, held in with an AM screw. If it's not lining up, you may need to get a hammer on that just to bash it into where it needs to go so that screw can fit perfectly in there. Like this. So when that's done, that section's looking just like this. Now these parts here, I'm just going to move to one side because I'm now going to be bringing up the bodywork. Once again, I want to grab some oil just on my cotton bud here, and I want to put it in these channels here, here, and here. Now I want to put this in this way, with these two points just here, towards this side of the car. So it's going to fit in just like this. So when it sits in, it should look just like that, hopefully. So when it sits in, it should look just like that, as you can see how that's going to operate there. Now I don't want that moving anywhere, so we've got two mounting points on this, here and here. Now remember this is upside down, so it's opposite, so this is the right hand side one here. It's got an R stamped onto it. This one's got an L stamped onto it, which is going to go on the other side. As you can see, we do have a, a curved section which is going to go over that rod we've put in there. They're going to be held in with GM screws. So that's one. And this one's two. And then what I'll do, do exactly the same on the other side. I have, I am just oiling the top of this as well. So this pivot point has got no resistance now. It should be free once I put this in place to rotate no problems at all. Once again, I'm just gonna check that. As you can see, no problems at all. Now I've just moved that to one side because we've got these two brackets looking like this. I believe these are stamped as well, left and right. This one's got an L on, this one's got an R on. And we've got some springs. We've actually got three springs 
in this stage. I'm gonna need an AP screw. And then you see this spring has got a ring on it. We want the ring to be facing lower down and that's the lower down side that's gonna go against this side of that bracket. And then I'm gonna screw this in. So I have got my magnifying glasses on to help me here. But there you go. That's one spring in place. Do the same on the other side. So I bought the bodywork uh, over again and it's this headlight we're gonna be working on first. This is the right headlight. I want it in the up position like this. And then I'm gonna take the bracket that says R and that's gonna go this way round into these two holes here and it's held in with a GM screw. The free end of this spring is just gonna go into the post that we can just see there. Again, that's gonna be held in with an AP screw. Definitely not the easiest thing to do, but get that all the way in there. And that's perfect. What we wanna do then is take the spring and just pass it behind the drive rod there. So it's looking like that. So now we've got a nice lot of flex on there, as you can see. So the spring's coming from this side, round the rod, into the back of the headlight there. Going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. So once again, bracket in, secure in with a GM screw, put the spring into place, and once you've done that, it's just pushing this back behind the rod again. So now that has got the spring in it, as you can see there. So it turns out the other spring they gave us is a spare, but that is all there is to do in that stage. I'm glad that these are now all spring loaded. In stage 80 here, show you the magazine. Looking like that, we're going to be, got some brackets here. We're gonna be taking the motor that we've got in the vehicle that should still be attached uh, to your wiring loom. We need to take that off. We're gonna mount the motor in what we've just created there, put that into place, tidy the wires up, and then by the look of it, once these wires are all tidy, we are gonna be able to test it to make sure the headlights go up and down. This should be fun. So I have already taken the motor out the car to turn this upside down here and I'm going to want to put the motor into this cavity just here so that it engages with the gear just like that hopefully one of the cameras can see this now we've got two items that are going to hold this into place we've got this bracket here that's going to go on just like this and I've got this bracket here which is going to go over the top of this to hold everything into place there. Now the two holes that we can see at the top there are going to be screwed in with UM screws and the screw just down the front there is a GM screw. The UM screws there as you can see are quite long. I'm going to put this into some metal. I'm going to put this into some oil. Get it lined up and screw that in. So one here that motor is now going nowhere. Another UM screw in there. And then a smaller GM screw down the front. Now we're gonna want all of these wires to be coming out of this side of the car over here. So I'm just gonna get these all ready to go. And if you can see on one of these cameras, I've put it behind this post here, those two wires first. I've then got this strip of adhesive. Get this to lie into this channel in here. And just after the cog, I'm gonna put this adhesive in just to keep this into place. There is sort of like a channel that these can fit in. The rest of these wires are just gonna come round the bulkhead on this side. And then again, I'm gonna secure that with some tape just on this side here. Perfect. So you can see how tidy that's looking now. Now once I've tidied those uh, wires up, I do have some little brackets to put in to hold these into place. Now these are held with AM screws. They look like this. I'm just gonna line them up so the hole's gonna go in. Actually, it's probably best to put the screw in first. 
and then drop this into position. So one here. Excellent. Second one over this side. And then we've got this tab here, just going on top of both of these sections in there, like that. So we're gonna to wanna to test it. So I'm gonna put this over the top of the car and connect up the M wire and the MOT wire. So I've connected those wires up and then I've realized the best way to do this is gonna be on my phone. So I'm gonna be pressing this button here. And if I press it now, as you can see, the lights come up and down. How cool is that? Up, down, perfect. Can't believe that worked first time. I'm really happy with that. So I've taken this apart. That's the end of that stage. I've lost the mat now because uh, I'm working on the front scanner. I'm sure this is gonna go fine. We'll have to see. <laughs> But as you can see, we do need these headlights which are going to go into the other side of the scanner that we've put in here. Then I'm going to be taking out the wires which I've got the headlights on and putting the bulbs into the back. So just to remind you, this is what the scanner looks like. We have put them in this side. We haven't done this side yet. So if you remember what we did at the start, we're going to be taking these housing here and putting a reflector in just like that. And then we're going to be taking the rear of the reflector making sure that the bigger part is at the bottom that's going to go in like that there and i'm holding all of that together with two ap screws so i'm just going to do one to show you what this looks like the second screw going in here so it should look like that from this side and that from this side i'm going to make the other two and there you go that's all three of these created in exactly the same way that we did the ones on this side we're going to be doing exactly the same thing on this side so they're going to go in like this one two let's put them in loosely at the moment and three they're going to be held in with am screws so as you can see they're all in both sides now now i've taken cable r out of the car as you can see these have got all the lights on them if I just undo this cable, you see one has got a short side, one has got a long side. We want the long side going in this end here, the short side going in this end here. And it's just a case of pushing the LEDs into the back of these sections. Now once they're in, I am folding these down so it's not coming out too far from this direction here. Do the same on this side. I am splitting these slightly as well. And there you go, they're all in just like that. The last things to do is we've got these two panels at the top here, which we've got some trim to put on. I have put this uh, slightly out of order to the instructions, but I thought I'd do that bit at the end. They're gonna be held in with BM screws. Now in the instructions, it says we're holding these in with BM screws. They're actually going into plastic. So it is BP screws that they provided. They're the correct screws that are going into this. This will hold these in place. So I'll get these in both sides. And that looks like that when it's in. Now, silly me, because I'm always making mistakes, you know me. I should have put a clip in. So I'm just going to take this headlight out. See, I'll leave my mistakes in. Because I need to put this clip here that we've got here, which has got this sort of white sensor on it, into this screw hole on this side. So I'm just going to... Uh, Take this screw out that I've put in for a grill, put this in, and then reattach it. Now, very important to remember that I've got a grill on mine. That is a modification. So you won't have that on yours, just to be aware. Then I'm gonna be putting this headlight back in. Now, something tells me, I don't know why, it's been a while, that uh, if you are using the grill mod, you shouldn't be putting that bit in, but I'll put it in anyway because I don't like having parts left at the end of the stage. Uh, but you won't have this, remember that? If you're just building this as stock, that was an additional mod on there. But that's all there is to do in that stage. So 
So that brings us to the last stage of this pack. Again, I'm going to just quickly flick through the magazine. And again, we're just going to be putting some brackets for the wires that we've put on here. We're going to start shielding a whole back of that sensor section. So by the end of it, we've got the mounting point here. It's going to look like that. Okay, so what we're going to do is trace these wires around now. So first off, this long wire we've got, I'm going to be putting into this section here. So it's keeping it flush. And I'm holding that in with a tab just in the middle there. This is the smaller of the tabs we've got, which looks like that and it's held in with AM screws. And there's the second side going in. So we've got the first tab here, which is keeping that long wire connected from the headlights on this side. And then gonna bundle up all the other wires here. And I'm pinning them down on this side with the longer tab that I've got looking like this. And again, that's held down with AM screws. See, it's all about the wire tidy here. Perfect. So everything's now coming out of this side here and it's actually fitting between these two posts that we've got there. Once we've done that, we can take this whole bracket section this way round, it's gonna go over the lugs just there and there. That's gonna be secured in with GM screws. Now it takes two each side. So I'll get these in, just show you where these go. One, two, and then three, four. And then the last thing to do is put these bumper brackets in. This one's labeled L, which is gonna go on this side here. This just lines up. You have got two locating lugs in this onto the back of what we've just installed here. Get it in the right way. Just like that. And that's held in with BP screws. And one here. And then similarly, in the other way, we've got the R, one here, which is just going to go on that side there, held in with BP screws. Now I'm guessing that's not far from actually putting on the car because that is all there is to do in that stage. That's all there is to do in that pack. Now, if you know me at all, I can't just leave it there, can I? So everything we've done, I've just put the cover on loosely. I've put the wires on loosely. I'll put the scanner just on the front loosely. I'm going to try out all the electrics. I've got my phone here and uh, I'm going to try and film that for you. Boy, I hope this works. So here we go, lights. Excellent. All the headlights work, the lights have come up. And then can I get the scanner on? Which one's the scanner? Hang on. There you go. We've got the scanner on as well. <laughs> that looks really good. I'm so happy with that. And there it is from a different angle. That's got to be the thumbnail, hasn't it? Check that out. <laughs> I've turned the lights out as well, just so you can see what's going on inside here. How cool is that? We've got all the lights at the back, still need to be put in, but you get the idea. I think that looks absolutely brilliant. <laughs> so happy with how that looks. I am such a big kid, aren't I? See, I've cleared everything away now because I'll just be playing with that all day. That's another four stages done. If you like what you see, and if you'll be crazy if you didn't like what you see today, uh, I have put a link down here to the Fan Home website. You can get this all the way from pack one. But I really hope you like that video. I'm just so happy that it actually worked. Nothing ever works first time on this channel. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.